Hello everybody, I've got a Kroger haul. I would call it uh, a healthy haul, really, because we needed some produce. Uh, it was one of the main reasons we went was for different kinds of produce. And um, just looked around and saw a few other things. I was also looking for, I heard in the comments someone said, or I read, that uh, Fred Myers, which is a, a affiliate like of Kroger, had a bromelain tablets which is the ingredient that's in pineapple which is so good for your uh, congestion and stuff your, uh, and uh, inflammation and stuff but they didn't have them at Kroger and I was also looking for kitty stop it uh, those old-fashioned whorehound drops they didn't have any of them but I found something that has whorehound in it so for now that's what I'll be using but I got these uh, crinkle cut fries for, for uh, we're having um, Philly steaks with shaved beef. I'm using shaved beef. There goes Kitty. And uh, this is the only thing. Uh, let me, let me pull up, show up with this. Okay. And starting on the produce, we got uh, the small one of the baby spring mix. The big one seems like we don't eat it all before it starts going bad. Um, the you know huge ones, they're nice to have, but if you don't use them all, it's better off with the small one. I'd rather run out and use it all than to have some left and throw it away. Um, I got an English cucumber. The regular ones were kind of rubbery, you know. Uh, I can't wait to. And this lady was looking at the tomatoes while I was, and I was like shaking my head and stuff. And, and she just, she, I don't forget if she said something, she just went, huh, or something. I was going, wow, these are expensive. And she said, I think she agreed with me or something. And I said, I can't wait to grow them again. And she started laughing. Um, but yeah, tomatoes are, they're, they're kind of, they look nice, but they're kind of, I, I call it pithy, kind of grainy a little bit, some of them, you know. Oh, my, my homegrown tomatoes are not, they're, they're, you know great <laughs> compared to that so anyway I got an English cucumber because the regular ones were like I said rubbery and like these are you know these are fine looking tomatoes uh, but I don't know it's something about them they're just in the winter they just don't I don't know if they make them like um, ripen faster than they're so supposed to or what you know I know they're able to do that make them ripen you know real fast um, I hope not, but um, we got some, two little bunches of, it doesn't seem like there's that much in these anymore, there's about six, and they don't even look fantastic, but that's all they had, the green onions, I had some out in the garden, and I didn't get them, I, I should have got them out there, uh, I don't think they're any good now, because of the super cold temperatures, and we got some red, onions i'm gonna make those fillies up that's what we needed peppers and onions tonight for the fillies i think i have one onion or two left maybe um but I, we were out of peppers and we definitely have to have that um okay i guess the peppers are in there somewhere i got um one of these to try on our show on logan's which it'll come out before this video but it's Simple Truth Organic Himalayan Salted Caramel with other natural flavors, mini rice cakes made with rice and corn. The Simple Truth brand is pretty good. Um, I've gotten quite a bit of different stuff. Simple Truth. Um, and I was looking, like I said, for those four hound drops. They didn't have them, but, and then I was looking at the Ricola, you know, Ricola. <laughs> I was looking at those, and then these were sitting right next to them, and they seem to have the same uh, ingredients, you know, the same herbs. And one of them is whorehound, so th this has that and other things that are supposed to be good for your... Um, it's a menthol cough, cough suppressant, oral anesthetic, soothes sore throat pain, temporary re early relieves cough. And... Um, I guess I'm going to do a little taste test because you can hear my throat. I mean, my allergies are so crazy. So I got two of these because they were way cheaper than the 
the cola was like $4.99, but it's got, um, you know, menthol in it, but it's got, um, where does it say? Uh, blend of herbs, uh, elderflower, whorehound, which is, that makes that the second ingredient. So there's, you know, that's the higher up on the ingredient list, the more is in it. Um, high sop, lemon balm, linden flowers, mallow, peppermint, sage, thyme, wild thyme, glucose syrup, natural flavor, sucrose. So it's, I don't think they're, I don't even have a, I don't guess you have to have a nutrition fact. But, right, so, so I'm going to try one. And I, I don't know if I've had, I think I've had the original Ricola before. So, oh, it says Kroger on it. Ooh, special. Okay. So it looks like. Kitties. Hmm, can I try it? The mint. Oh, I, she probably smells that. You smell it? She closed her eyes when I. Oh, you smell it? Hmm? You do. Well, they taste kind of like a like a Halls or something, but they got all this other stuff in them, so I'm hoping they'll help me some. Okay. They're pretty good they, taste wise. They taste they taste like a to me like halls is what they taste like. The menthol. Okay. Honey, those aren't for kitties. I don't think you need to try those. I had a, a digital coupon on antiseptic mouthwash, mouth rinse. And I ended up getting a good deal on it. I had 70 cents off. Uh, if I, I'm going to try to remember to go over the prices. I'm going to set it right there. And, and the, the dry uh, air, um, that irritates your sinuses. And then in turn, it'll make, the, it'll make like mucus to try to help it. So, uh, saline spray. Um, I don't like um, chemical nose sprays because you can get to where you're almost like dependent on them and then it actually makes things worse. So I just get saline which has sodium chloride I guess just regular salt in it or something. It's This is simple truth so it should be it's gentle enough for infants. Instantly, instantly relieves dry nasal passages non-medicated and free from something it says so I got that and kitties well, they let, see everything aren't you honey I got one more of these because I have a feeling they're going to like these and they're only 70 calories for 9 of them of course there's, there's only 4% of fat total fat there's no saturated fat all the other numbers are real low so that's good got some of these for Logan he loves almonds and we've got a couple different flavors you know I told told you about the snickerdoodle and then he had a peppermint cocoa or something like that this one's blueberry never heard of that before but they got a lot of different different ones uh, you want some of your food kitty oh. Um, Joy's making something. I can't remember what she said it was called. It's chocolate something. Anyway, you need a pure vanilla extract. And I'm, I'm just going to say this is a real small bottle in this box. It's private selection. Let's see. Okay, you see the box. Let's see how small it is. Okay. Whoa, <laughs> a vanilla is really expensive. It always was kind of expensive for the real stuff. We've got imitation, but it just didn't the same, you know? So if she wanted the real, 
So that says Madagascar vanilla beans. And I got these for Logan. Chocolate bridge mix, Kroger chocolate bridge bridge mix. And unless I have some kind of a discount on Ibotta or there's some fantastic digital deal going on, I don't mind buying Kroger brand products. They're all really seem to be high quality. I've never really had much of a problem with any, I don't think I've had a problem with any Kroger products, you know, as far as quality. Um, same thing, you know, when I go to Walmart, I'm buying mostly great value. But I got these for Logan, chocolate bridge mix, and they have milk and dark chocolate covered vanilla creams raisins peanuts malt balls and almonds got a little bit of everything in there I mean, like that. more produce i say most for the most part this is a real healthy uh, even the chocolate the chocolate's not all that bad for you and it's got nuts that are good for you Got three more sweet potatoes. We're really liking those. The ones we had that I fixed for Christmas, they really enjoyed, so they want some more. These little, uh, these bananas have, they're, they're dull bananas. They got Disney on them. I think that's pretty neat. The real ones, but. Um, and then two. I hope these last longer. We're going to use one tonight. They don't seem to last that long before they start getting places on him. I don't want Kitty to get that twist tie. I don't like her. I don't like her getting those. She'll run down the hall with it in her mouth. I'm afraid she'll swallow it or something. And then this is for what Joy's uh, fixing. And she needed cocoa, unsweetened cocoa, which we already had. But she needs quick one minute oats I just said quick oats. We don't. We usually use instant oatmeal, so we didn't buy the huge one. They had a bigger one, but we just got this size. That's plenty. And then <laughs> we were waiting in line to check out, and Joy saw someone with marshmallow cream, so she wanted some marshmallow cream. So they had the Jet Puff one, but it was more expensive. Than the Kroger brand, and the Kroger brand was a little bit bigger too, than the than the Jet Puff one. This is pretty big. That'd make a little kind of a, a neat little cup after you're done, and it has a top or something, or just use it for something. So yeah, so I got this one. It had more in it, and it was less. Got two cases of water. They had a fifty cent digital coupon on uh, the purified drinking water. So I got two more. I'm trying to keep as many as I can uh, you know uh, and yeah I got two cases of water I was trying to think if I don't think there was anything else okay um, these baby spring mix was 319 the marshmallow uh, stuff I thought was pretty decent price at 249 for a big that's pretty big the oats were two sixty nine, the waters two ninety nine, the English cucumber a dollar seventy nine, the onions were seventy nine cents a bunch. That's in a way that's high because I know you used to get more than that in the bunch, not just five or six or whatever it is. I think it's six. Um, so they were seventy nine cents each. The tomatoes were two twenty nine a pound. 561 for three tomatoes. Green peppers were 79 cents, so they were $1.58 for two. Bananas were 59 cents a pound, so they were $1.01, the little ones. The rice cakes were $1.99, that's hmm, decent for those, I mean, for that type. Um, the vanilla was $4.29. The bridge mix, chocolate bridge mix, was a dollar twenty-five. They were four for five. But I just got one. For, to be saline, and, and this is a big one. This will last a long time. Three ounces. That'll last a real long time. But four forty-nine for you know, salt water, basically. <laughs> I don't know. 
Uh, the almonds, the blueberry almonds were two fifty, and the cough drops were two ninety nine a bag. The mouthwash was was three seventy nine. I had a, a e coupon for seventy cents off, so it was three oh nine. So that's a good buy on that. And uh, just like Listerine, um, the French fries were two sixty nine. They're kind of high there now. The uh, red onions were three nineteen, and the sweet potatoes were ninety nine cents a pound on sale. They 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 rang up. Watch if you can, you know. Watch when, the, especially with produce, when they have to punch something in a number, or if they scan it, usually if it has a sticker on it, it'll be okay. They charge. They put down that they were yams. I, you know, there's a difference, and the yams were dollar forty nine a pound. Well, the sweet potatoes were ninety nine cents a pound, and she, it was. She wanted to charge something like three seventy one, and I was like, "There's no way." At 99 cents a pound so I, I looked as she got you know before it went past the screen and saw that and I said um, I believe that you charged us for yams and they got the paper I don't know if she I said there's two big signs over there that said 99 cents a pound she had to actually go over there and look at those signs before she believed us so anyway, they took off the yams and they changed it to sweet potatoes, so they were two dollars and eleven cents. I don't like it when, as many times as we're in there, everybody, unless you're new, everybody's seen us in there. We're in there all the time. So, I, you know, believe me when I say something, I'm not gonna make up something over some yams, you know, and sweet potatoes. I'm not gonna make it up. I saw it said yams when it when you rang it up. Those weren't yams, they were sweet potatoes. So, you know, I wasn't hateful or anything like that. I just, it just, it did kind of bother me that they had to go actually look over there, you know, and still taking my word for it. So, anyway, but I guess they just, you know, each one does what they feel like they have to do. I, I'd say the ones that knew us a little better would have said, oh, wow, okay, you know, but. I'm not going to lie over or try to snooker you out of your, you know, d uh, yam price or whatever you say. Oh, this has something on it. Oh, it's nothing. Something on it. I was going to say it's sticky. I guess that's some other one that leaked. It doesn't have a place in it or anything. I'll wash that off. But anyway, that's it. We, uh, like I said, we just went to get a few things. We didn't go crazy. But I think we got mostly healthy, pretty healthy things of the French fries. We, we're not eating them as much anymore. Um, we're trying not to. Um, we were having basically potatoes pretty much some way, form or fashion every day, it seemed like. And, uh, you know, it's easy because, you know, potatoes, you can fix them so many different ways. But I love them anyway. You know, we all do. So we're trying to. Trying to do a little bit better on that, and sweet potatoes is one of the things that are that are good for you that you can use instead. You feel like you're eating a regular potatoes, but it's sweet potatoes. <laughs> All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this Kroger haul. Like I said, nothing major, but some good deals and some healthy stuff. So if you did enjoy it, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already, and share this out, and hit that. So you get all my videos as soon as they come out. My throat feels pretty good. If you notice, my <coughs> my um, voice is not as rattly after taking this uh, cough drop. So um, I don't know how this, how much this will help um, with the. It might with the with the you well, let's say menthol in it. Yeah, it might with that kind of help the uh, sinuses. We'll see. But I'm going to try, I still haven't, I can't remember to try my drink mixture. You have to do it before breakfast on an empty stomach. <coughs> so, I need to make myself a big, huge, lighted, lighted sign or something. <laughs> so, anyway, I hope you all have a good day. And we'll see you next time. God bless.